the way we the way we fo- have been focusing on on nature based projects is that uh, a lot of the uh, other project types have related have been uh, somehow related to uses of renewable energy and and we don't see that as anymore something that should be you know supported through the carbon markets that change is already happening uh then some of the other like uh, non nature based like technologies are not yet available at scale so we don't have like uh like direct air capture for example uh, there are a few like machines here and there around the world that are already capturing carbon directly from the atmosphere but it's very 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 small scale um and 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 it won't scale in in the next few years yet and it might scale sometime in the future but the the most like efficient and scalable technology that we have right now to sequester carbon or to remove carbon is biomass and and and, and storing uh, carbon into biomass so that's why we've really like focused on those project types even though it's also like riddled with risks that project type category basically but you need to kind of you know navigate those risks and 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 and, and minimize them um but what we also do is like we we have this portfolio of projects and and yeah most of them are nature based but we also support like 20% of our offset payments are directed to what we call innovative carbon capture solutions so we have for example uh, biochar projects there where uh, where biochar is produced and the carbon is stored for potentially hundreds of years in biochar that can then be used also like as a soil improvement uh, material for example or has many other uses as well or we have uh, blue carbon projects where um, which are also nature based projects but they they where we uh, uh, for example kelp is grown and it's a very fast growing bio type of biomass and it sequesters a lot of carbon and then it's dropped to the bottom of the deep sea and it stays there for centuries uh, potentially even longer um so i think we like the way we've looked at that the kind of carbon market is that yeah we need to find the best let's call them like uh traditional projects in a way uh but then also support new emerging technologies uh uh that can you know that we see as uh, scalable uh one other like soil carbon for example uh if we were to uh at large scale uh transform our agricultural lands to regenerative agriculture that would have like even a gigaton level uh climate impact but we need to kind of incentivize and and support that transformation so carbon credits could play a role there for example but and that's a, a, a so there are like projects popping up in the, in the field of soil carbon as well and they have a lot of you know problems but we still think that we need to kind of support um you know uh solving those uh, existing problems by allocating some of our offset payments to these innovative solutions as well